Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, Valorant, but not just any type of Valorant. The Valorant that's for the console. Yeah, just recently, I've been invited to, or I basically signed up for the uh, beta for the Valorant console, um, I guess, beta, whatever, whatever you call it. I, I don't know how to explain it off the top of my head. I'm just making videos. Okay, that's not my job. My job is to bring you gameplay and to show you what Valorant is like on the console. So first things I can say is Valorant on the console is absolutely incredible. And on the basis of the fact that they were able to port a very high precision mouse, um, sorry, FPS from mouse and keyboard all the way to console and actually provide and actually provide a good experience while not sacrificing the core gameplay aspects of the original Valorant. Like, it's absolutely incredible. Like, I won't be surprised in the first couple days. All you Call of Duty fans are going to be hopping over, maybe giving on a shot. And be like, why? I'm moving and shooting. What's going on? But, like, for the people who are from PC and who has a console and who's just hopping right over. I I can definitely say this. As a person who put, has put over, like, 500 hours in Valorant. Don't tell my girlfriend that. Um... It's absolutely amazing. Like some of the first things first, graphics and visuals. I play at 120 frames per second and it runs just as well as like on PC. Like it's absolutely incredible. I feel like every gunfight, every gun uh, play mechanic is there. Movement mechanic is there. Bunny hopping, I, I haven't been able to do it just yet, but um, I've been doing like some briefs uh, Jiggle peeks around walls, which is actually pretty easy to do. Actually, I think jiggle peeking is a lot easier on the console version than it is in PC. But like, again, for me, it comes second Asian, second nature for PC. But when it comes to console, I was like a little worried. It's like, how are you going to get that jiggle peek mechanic? Like, that's just a small thing. But the amount of detail, especially for uh, controls and gameplay, the amount of customization you can be able to do, for like aim recurve responses between just standard uh, focus mode, ADS mode, uh, scope mode. Like it's actually pretty impressive. Uh, the user interface is honestly, it feels a lot cleaner than the PC port, which is ironic. And those leaks that we saw on, um, the leaks that we saw on uh, Twitter a couple months ago, where I noticed that some of the uh, the menu and UI was leaked. And yeah, everybody thought it was for the mobile version, but no, that was for the console version, which is actually, like, again, it looks pretty nice. Uh, there's just a few things that I want to maybe just question about, game, not gameplay-wise. Uh, gameplay actually smooths pretty well. There's just a couple things that I wish they would add. Now, I have maybe I haven't just found this setting within the features of... Let's just say some of the features within the uh, settings. But my biggest critique about the scoreboard and menu setting within the buy phase of Valorant is I wish you had been able to just press the D-pad on the controller right here. That's where you do the um, buy menu. I wish you can just press it to open up the buy menu instead of holding it. Now, I, I don't know if I see, I haven't seen an option just yet. Maybe someone comment down below if I just missed it. That happens. But um, I wish they kind of gave the option for customization there where I kind of wish that I could just press the the uh, the middle pad just to pull up the buy menu because I don't really look at the scoreboard that much other than to make myself feel bad <laughs> sometimes. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what, el what else can I say about this game? Like it runs really smooth. Gunplay's there. Um, I, I would say at the current moment, everybody's just running it down, so there's no strategy. Like, I can definitely tell you, my teammates have been just camping in fucking corners while I'm trying to get into gunfights. Like, my biggest tip for right now, like, if I was going to do a top five tips right now, the first five tips is getting in as many gunfights as you can to understand the gameplay and understand the gunplay. Like, play some team deathmatch first before even you hop into a couple games. I didn't do that. As a true guy, I went right into the gameplay, and I did struggle in the first two games. Mostly because of my 80. Like, all my settings were, weren't there just yet. 
I'm still fine tuning my settings just a bit, but honestly, it's looking pretty good. Like you can really tell the difference between some of the settings. Sometimes you can't really tell between some of the aim curves, but maybe that's just a visual thing. But the aim assist, not too strong. It's actually perfect. Um, it just like I remember t watching Tens explain the um, aim assist aspect of this game, and he said it just feels right. And yeah, I kind of agree. It just feels right. Like it's nothing too sticky. It, but it is sticky. Like you can really tell when an enemy's near you. But it does like you still got to earn that. Cur like you have to still earn that kill. It's kind of like um, like if you play Call of Duty nowadays, you're gonna struggle with this game. However, if you're kind of like a Apex player, maybe no, no, I would say Overwatch player. I would say if you're an Overwatch player, maybe a yeah. I would say if you're an Overwatch player, I think you will have a lot more success than most Call of Duty and Apex players. That's just me personally. Um, basically that's it for this video guys, but, uh, I'll see you next time guys in the video, but hopefully you enjoy the gameplay in the meantime. Okay.